Hey everyone, so this is not a tutorial, but instead a challenge. We'll walk through a scenario and based on everything you've learned so far, create a ba banking application. So this challenge is to enforce the commands um, that you have learned. So let's review the skills you have acquired before coding our challenge. You can write applications that you can read from the console and respond. You learn how to store two types of data strings and integers. You got a brief introduction to date, time, and decimal type. You know how to convert strings to integers and decimals. You know how to store user inputs for later use in variables. And you may not have caught this, but you also know how to concatenate strings together, as well as split a string based on an identifier. You know how to read and write files. You know if else logic statements. You also know how to loop through arrays. So in the upcoming challenge, we will use these skills to write out our banking application. So let's review our overall application vision, writing a banking system application that allows making deposits and withdrawals, and our product requirements are as follows. Allow users to log into the system using their name, use console.write to greet the user and ask for their name, Use console.read to read the user's name and open a CSV file that starts with the user's name. Read the CSV file. If the CSV file does not exist, continue. Here, you need to use a new command that you have not been introduced. It's file.exists and passing the file name. File.exists will return true if the files are found and false if not. So use if else logic for this. And because this is a banking application, we'll need to have the sum amount that the user has in their account. So if the file doesn't exist, keep the sum at zero. If the file exists, then use the file.read all lines and passing the file name to get back an array of lines Read the last line to store the user's current balance. Let's walk over the structure of the CSV for the user. The first column needs to be the date of the transaction. The second column needs to be the type of transaction the user performed, in our case, a withdrawal or deposit. The third column, the amount of the transaction, and the last column needs to have the balance. So now we're ready for the user's actions. Use the console.write line to ask the user if they want to make a deposit or withdrawal. Read the user's input using console.read line, and if the user responds to withdrawal, then use console.write line to ask how much. Use the console.read line to read the user's input and convert it into an integer. And next, use if else if the user has enough money in the bank to do a withdrawal. If the user has enough money, then allow the withdrawal by minus the withdrawal from the user's balance and remember the current balance. Then let the user know the current balance using console.write line. We now need to write the transaction to the user's bank ledger. So use the file.append all text to write to the user's file. Note the structure of the file we went over earlier. If the user doesn't have enough money, then use console.write line to let the user know that their current balance is lower than the amount of withdrawal. If the user wants to make a deposit, then ask the user using console.write line the amount of the deposit. Remember the user input and convert the string value and then add it to the current balance. Then use file.append all text to write to the user's bank ledger. The requirements are so long and complex. So as a best practice, it's a good idea to break them into smaller chunks. This will make it easier to understand the problem that is the key to having a successful application is understanding the problem. So 
our requirements can be broken down into two sections. The first section is to log into the banking system. Then we break the rest of the login to the banking system in smaller subsections. The subsection of the login will consist of checking of the file if the file exists and reading the balance, else we keep the balance zero. Also, understand the CSV ledger structure to read the balance and use it for the next section. The second section is all about allowing a user to withdraw or make a deposit. So another good habit to keep is to think about your program logic as you read the requirements. The logic of your application is, is like a workflow. You go from one step to another or meet a logical condition and do something else. So get in the habit of thinking and visualizing the structure of your program. So hopefully you now have all the information you need to complete this challenge. Good luck. And if you get stuck or if you're not clear on any of this or the above requirements, just give us a shout, drop us a line. As always, we will link the complete code to our GitHub repository, but try not to peek at the completed application and instead really try and solve the problem. And it's totally okay if you ask for help and guidance. That is why we're here. So good luck.